into Act 2, Scene 1, Titus Andronicus, you, reeling from that action-packed Act 1, Scene 1, that's all Act 1 was, with everything going on. And in the synopsis of this, uh, Aaron reveals that he is Tamora's lover, and then stops a fight between her sons, Chiron and Demetrius, who both want Lavinia. He encourages them to join in raping her. So Aaron, Aaron is is the more uh, the Moorish char- the more character who's an extreme uh, villain in the play. However, we will see a turn with him a little later that I think is some of actually uh, some some of Shakespeare's brilliance when we see Aaron, who's really a really a, a horrible character. Would know there'll be a moment later on where there's some light, but here is Aaron who is uh, Tamora's lover, now climbeth Tamora Olympus' top, safe out of fortune shot and sits aloft, secure of thunder, crack a lightning flash, advance above pale envy's threatening reach as when the golden sun salutes the morn, and having gilt the ocean with his beams, gallops the zodiac in his glistering, glistering coach, and overlooks the highest peering hills. So, Tamora, uh, upon her wit doth earthly honor wait and this is you know aaron is alone here so this is this is a a soliloquy he's delivering about tamora his lover right you know and they're plotting and planning and throwing things into turmoil so tamora upon her wit doth earthly honor wait and virtue stoops and trembles at her frown then aaron arm thy heart so he's talking to himself Aaron, arm, arm thy heart and fit thy thoughts to mount aloft with thy imperial mistress. She's going to the top. I'm going there with her, right? And mount her pitch. Rise to the highest point of her flight. A term from falconry there. Whom thou in triumph long hast prisoner held, bettered in amorous chains. You know, we've been together in these amorous chains, these loving chains, uh, right? And faster bound to Aaron's charming eyes. Then is Prometheus tied to Caucasus, away with slavish weeds and servile thoughts. I will be bright and shine in pearl and gold to wait upon this new-made empress. To wait, said I, to wanton with this queen, this goddess, this Semiramis, this nymph, this siren that will charm Rome Saturnine and see his shipwreck and his common wills. Hello, what storm is this? So he's uh, he's... There's, there's Aaron's plans, right? Along with Tamora, he's going to rise to the top. And here are Tamora's sons, Chiron and Demetrius. Chiron, thy years once wit, wits want edge, and manners to intrude, intrude where I am graced, and may for aught thou knowest affected be. Chiron here. Demetrius, thou dost overween and all, and so in this, to bear me down with praise, tis not the difference of a year or two makes me less gracious or thee more fortunate, I am as able and as fit as thou to serve and to deserve my mistress' grace, and that my sword upon thee shall approve. Approve here to prove and plead my passions for Lavinia's love. See, both of them are in love with Lavinia. Lavinia is the, the Titus's daughter, this fair maiden mistress. Aaron, clubs, clubs. These lovers will not keep the peace. Ah, oh, these Aaron's like these these buffoons, right? Why, boy? Although our mother, unadvised, gave you a dancing rapier by your side, are you so desperate, grown to threat your friends? Go to have your lathe glued within your sheath till you know better how to handle it. You know, there's a, a double entendre there. Demetrius and Chiron are arguing. You don't know how to use your sword. Ha, huh, get it, you know, uh, Chiron. Meanwhile, sir, with this little skill I have, full well shalt thou perceive it how much I dare. They draw. Hi, boy, grow you so brave. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron's like... Why, how now, lords? Cut this off, right? Cut this off. So near, he's like, cut this out, you buffoons. So near the emperor's palace, dare ye draw and maintain such a quarrel openly? Full well, I wot, know the ground of all this grudge. I would not for a million of gold, the cause were known to them at most concerns, nor would your noble mother for much more be so dishonored in the court of Rome. For shame, put up. You're looking like idiots here. Put your swords away, right? Not till I have sheathed my rapier in his bosom, and withal thrust those reproachful speeches down his throat, that he hath breathed in my dishonor here. 
And there the brothers are fighting over Lavinia, right? For that I am prepared and full resolved, foul spoken coward that thunders with thy tongue and with the weapon nothing dares perform. Aaron, who's very you know smart and cunning, duplicitous, away I say, now by the gods that war like Gothador, this petty brabble, you know, you're just talking, will undo us all. Why, lords, and think you not how dangerous it is to jet upon a prince's right? What is, what is Lavinia then become so loose, or Bassiana so degenerate, that for her love such quarrels may be broached without controlment, justice, or revenge? Young lords, beware, and should the empress know, this discords ground, the music would not please. I care not. I knew she and all the world. I love Lavinia more than all the world. I love Lavinia. Youngling, learn thou to make some meaner choice. Lavinia is thine elder brother's hope. She's mine. And here, are you mad? Or know you not in Rome how furious and impatient they be and cannot brook competitors in love? I tell you, lords, you do but plot your deaths by this advice. I'm warning you, you're acting like buffoons. Aaron, a thousand deaths would I propose to achieve who, her whom I love. To achieve her how? Why makes, makes thou it so strange? She is a woman, therefore may be wooed. She is a woman, therefore may be won. She is Lavinia, therefore must be loved. What man more water glideth by the mill than what's the miller of an easy it is of a cut loaf to steal a shiv? We know, though Bassianus be the emperor's brother, better than he have worn Vulcan's badge. The horns of cuckoldry, uh, Vulcan's badge. Aaron decide, aye, and as good as Saturninus may, right? He's like, ha ha, I'm sleeping with Tamora, right? I'm sad, I'm Tamora's uh, lover, and Saturninus is being cuckolded. So it's a little little uh, double entendre joke there, right? Then why should he despair that knows to court it with words, fair looks, and liberality? What hast thou now, fool, often stroke a doe, and borne her cleanly by the keeper's nose? Why, then it seems some certain snatch or so would serve your turns. There's a sexual connotation here, right? <clears throat> Aye, so the turn were served. Aaron, thou hast hit it. What, you had you had hit it too? Then should not we be tired with this ado? Why, hark ye, hark ye, hark you. And are you such fools to square for this, to quarrel? You're fighting over this would offend you then that both should speed? You know, when both of you can prosper. <laughs> And here's Aaron's hor horrific uh, plan, right? Faith, not me, nor me, so I were one. Here's Aaron's plan, and this is where we're kind of, uh, we get the wheel, the, the things are going to be in motion right here. For shame, be friends, and join for, y for that you jar. Uh, to get what you quarrel over, you both can get something out of this. Tis policy and stratagem must do that you affect. A desire affects desire here and so must you resolve that what you cannot as you would achieve you must perforce accomplish as you may take this of me you know follow uh, Lucretia here right Lucretia a Roman lady noted for her chastity she killed herself here's the illusion when Sextus Tarquinius raped her take this ancient story as a guide was not more chaste than this Lavinia Bassianus love a speedier course, here's what you can do. A speedier course than lingering lashment must we pursue, and I have found the path. Here's what you should, I found the path. Here's what you do, my lords. A solemn hunting is at hand. There will the lovely Roman ladies troop. The forest walks are wide and spacious, and many unfrequented plots there are fitted by kind for rape and villainy. Here's what you're going to do. Single you tither. Then this dainty doe, that's Lavinia, right? And strike her home by force. You should both rape her. This is horrible here, but it, it plants this seed. If not by words this way or not at all, stand you in hope. Come, come, our empress with her sacred wit to villainy and vengeance consecrate. We will acquaint with all what we intend, and she shall file our engines with advice that will not suffer to you to square yourselves. You'll both be able to get what you want out of this. But to your wishes, height advance you both, right? The emperor's court is like the house of fame. The palace full of tongues of eyes and ears. You know, in the emperor, the woods, though, when you're out in the woods are ruthless, dreadful, death and dull. The contrast here, right? You can do what you want in the woods. It's a dark place. 
There, speak and strike, brave boys, and take your turns. Brutal, right? Both of you rape Lavinia. There, serve your lust, shadowed from heaven's eye, and revel in Lavinia's treasury. All right, that's Aaron's plan. Thy counsel, lad, smells of no cowardice. And here's Latin here. Sit fet, be it right or wrong, till I find the stream to cool this heat. A charm to calm these fits, more Latin. Um, per stigia, per manus via, where I'm carried through stygian, infernal regions through ghosts. That's from Seneca there. We have allusions to Seneca throughout. So here's the plan in Act 2, Scene 1, uh, of raping Lavinia. And then, you know, we'll see these horrible things in motion now.